I'm just gonna talk about some of the things oftentimes I see people's vehicles they don't have a single tool in their car and uh, you know some people say well I don't need all these tools in my car I have a triple uh, or whatever well in some cases you might get caught in an area where you don't have access to your phone or something like that so you, you can have you gotta have some of the tools that you need just to I would say you would need tools to change your tire or put your spare um, to change your battery or at least clean up the terminals um, maybe do a quick uh, like to change your um, the belt your drive belt um, simple stuff like that just in order to get you to nearest town nearest city where I live there's long stretches of desert and in some areas there is no communication and I've had people in the middle of the street you know flagging you down try asking for help and they had no service for their cars so this is just some of the, some of the things I would recommend to have there's a lot more that you can have as far as uh, for me for me one of the things that's not a tool that I have is water I carry water bottles at least four in my car um, one of the other things that's not really a tool that you can have that's really uh i've actually i don't think i saved nobody's life but i've i've saved a car from burning i pulled over i seen their car was flaming up i ran out i put out there uh, i put it out with my fire extinguisher and i had to go i took off i don't even know who it was but you know i saved his car from being completely burned down to the ground i don't know how i got that way you want to jack this one it had a handle on it i just cut it off i just have the socket for it uh, the socket itself to take off your uh, lug nuts you want to make sure it's the correct socket you can have something like a breaker bar this works a lot better than you know you got the length with this so this is a lot longer than just those little T handle things or whatever it takes up less space too so you just need the socket make sure you have the correct socket sometimes you might have different lug nuts so this is the first thing you want to have you want to have a jack in order to lift up your car so you can change your tire you want to have this thing's only about 10 bucks. <clears throat> Socket is only about three bucks. Most of your newer cars are going to come with stuff like this, but if you have an older car or a used car and it doesn't have any of this stuff, then you know you might need it. A little cheap. These are free Harbor Freight when you make a purchase. Uh, make sure it works. Uh, throw this thing in your car right here. Just so you can see, check your battery. And you can know, you know, if you do get access to calling somebody or even help, you could tell them, hey, I just, it looks like I need a battery. And believe it or not, you can do loaded tests with these. If you have somebody in the car and you crank it over and you could check the battery, you could set it to low and high or whatever. You could get a better one than that. That's just the cheapest possible, you know, free. You can't get much cheaper than that. A set of these right here. This is only about eight bucks or so. Now, these aren't that well used, but I have a pair of these that are really well used. And these things are really high quality for what they cost. Just a set of these right here. In case you got some kind of corroded wire or, or anything like that, you can you can cut it and you could do stuff like that. Also a pair of these right here. All this stuff you see is really cheap. Um, the other thing, if you're caught in the dark, you obviously want a flashlight. Make sure it's fully charged. Check it once a week. You want to just keep these hand tools in your car. Though anything electric, just give it a check once a week. Along as you're checking your uh, oil, just just check this stuff. Now your car may be different. Everybody's lives are different. Cars are different. This is just the type of things that I put in my car in case of emergencies. And like I said, I've used them quite a few times. And let me see. Next thing is you want a set of uh, jumper cables and these really come in handy you know a lot of times people are asking for jumper cables many many times I've helped people out I had this I have these once again in every one of my cars jumper cables I help people out all the time my car don't start you have jumper cables yes I do you know I help myself and I help other people out jumper cables that's about 12 bucks right there this set right here I have plenty of sets of wrenches this set believe it or not this was I think the last set of USA this was the last set of USA uh, raised panel and this was only about 17 bucks 17 for USA wrenches and you have two four six eight ten twelve thirteen piece USA made wrenches you're not gonna find something like this anymore but for 17 18 bucks you know I think this rail costs more than that so set of wrenches I'd say 
if you have a Japanese vehicle, 10 through 19 will do you fine. Um, as far as screwdrivers go, you can just get a set like this. It's probably eight bucks. And these are, I believe, insulated. I'm not sure. These are good. These are just from Harbor Freight, eight bucks. You really only need the middle size, though, the number two. For the flat, I would have one flat and one uh, Phillips. That, that's pretty much all you would need, flat and Phillips. And uh, so this is a set you can get for probably, I forgot, 15, 20 bucks. It's just like a girl ass set you get from your local auto parts store. Now this, you can do everything from basically changing your, uh, changing your battery, doing minor repairs and stuff like that. So uh, have a nice set, like it has metric from four to 12 millimeter. This might not be the ideal. This might be like a little smaller than what you might need. That's only about 15 bucks right there. And then I got another bigger one right here though. This set right here, this is a little bit better of a set. And believe it or not, you can do a lot of work with something like this. This set right here, you get them on sale during the uh, during the holiday seasons, during Christmas and stuff. You could get this set for about 40, 45 bucks right here. The ratchet's pretty good. Ratch is pretty nice. It works. You know, it's not the best thing in the world, but it, it, it works. You know, this is probably like the same quality as the Husky Ratchet that I tested. You know, it comes with extensions. Once again, you could pretty much, I mean, you can even do your brakes and stuff with this set. You can do your brakes. To tell you the truth, I could probably pull a whole engine with this. <laughs> really. With this stuff I'm showing you, I could probably pull a whole engine. Even with the jack and everything, I would just, you know. Anyways that and um you really don't often need a hammer or anything like that but this next thing the last last but not least you can use this for a hammer uh you know you could use it for mul multiple you know purposes really you know uh there's i've heard stories where people get caught in the woods and you know they have nothing to do anything with with that, you can do a lot of things, and you can use it as a hammer, you can use it as self-protection, you can use it as a lot of different things, basically. Even if you really had to hunt or something, you know, kill a freaking animal or something. And I would say have a pair of gloves. Have a pair of gloves. That's minimum, I would say. That's probably like about the minimum type stuff. I don't keep both of those, um, I don't keep, I don't keep this and the other set. I'll just keep one or the other. Usually the bigger set. This stuff doesn't take up too much room. It's going to take up a lot less room than all the extra crap you got in your car. You know, the stuff that you don't need, the stuff that you don't use. All this type of stuff, you probably, you may not, you know, depending on where you live, you may not need a hatchet or anything, but you can use this actually as like a pry bar. You can use it to, you know, cut thick cables. You can use it to, in extreme circumstances, you know, uh, cut wood for a fire just for survival or, or whatever have you, you know what I mean? And I have. I've used that plenty of times. I, I go camping and stuff, so I use that all the time. I use that to put stakes for tents. I use it for cutting wood. I use it for all kinds of stuff. Uh, killing chickens. Um, anyways, so uh, that would be, in my opinion, pretty much some of the minimum things you're going to need. Um, you can get whatever type of tools that you are available to you. The free, uh, the free, what do you call it, screwdrivers that you get from Harbor Freight, that's good. You can throw that in there. Just make sure you're electronic. Make sure your uh, flashlight and everything's working properly. And uh, from there, you just you just give and take what you think you might need. Um, some of the things that you might put in your car that you, you know, like a patch kit. They have these little, it's, just, it's only about this size. It's about half the size of this right here. It's a little tire repair kit. You can use a tire repair kit. And they sell these little, uh, they sell these right here. So you can get a tire repair kit. You could get these little compressors. It takes forever to to uh, to fill the tire pressure, but it does do the job. You can also put um, some slime, some of that slime stuff. If you get some that slime stuff, if you get multiple nails in your tires, you just you just take out that kit that I was talking about. You take out the valve stem. You throw that stuff in there, you use that little compressor to pop it up, you know, in case, you know, you're, you're flat, 
your spare tire. And another thing that nobody ever does, I'm sure a lot of people say I do that, but the spare tire, you need to check your spare tire 90% of the time when I check people's spare tires, it's flat. Or it's, it looks like it's, it's because it's not having pressure on it sitting in the back, but it has no air in it. it it's, it's down to like 10 PSI or something because it's been sitting there for five, six, seven years. So make sure you check on that. This is the minimum you got to have in your car, though, if you want to be self-sufficient and, and not get stuck on the side of the road without any type of help. I know there's a lot of people out there like that. I'm thinking most of the people who watch my videos, they're not like that. They're probably the do-it-yourself type. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of people need to get back into the do-it-yourself type because everybody sits there and waits for everybody to do things for them. You got to do stuff for yourself, man. It's just, you know what I mean? You, you just got to. If, if you see something happen to somebody, like, like I was talking about with the fire, I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, I'm going to get on the phone and call the fire department by the time they get there. You know, it's going to be already burnt down. You know, I pull off on the side of the road. I jump out. I put it out. I do my part, you know. So, uh, anyways, I would say this is the minimum stuff that you guys need to have. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.